Unit 7 covers the multiplication of common fractions. There's some basic principles um, and multiplication is really fairly simple. In fact, you've been doing it all along with some of the previous units on fractions. Well, the first basic rule or principle of multiplying common fractions is that it's a simple matter of multiplying the numerators multiplying the denominators, taking the result, and re reducing it to its lowest terms. So, for example, let's take uh, 7 eighths, and we'll multiply that by 1 half. Very simple, we multiply the, apply the numerators, 7 times 1 is 7, and then we multiply the denominators, 8 times 2 is 16, and there's your answer or we'll try another one 3 fourths times 2 thirds 2 times 3 is 6 3 times 4 is 12 6 twelfths or if you'll notice 6 is 1 half of 12 so we can reduce that to one half. Now the second principle, basic principle of multiplication of fractions is that if you have a fraction with a numerator that is larger than the, the denominator the fraction is written as a mixed number by dividing the numerator by the denominator. The number of times the denominator goes into the numerator evenly is the whole number portion of the mixed number if there is a remainder, it becomes the numerator of the fractional part of the whole number. So the original denominator is then used as the new denominator. Let's use some examples. Let's move these out of the way. Say we had three halves. And we multiply that by 12 ninths. Well, 12 times 3 is 36. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 divided into 36 will go 2 times evenly. So the answer to 3 halves times 12 ninths is 36 over 18, or 2. Let's try the next one in the book. We'll break it down. 7 eighths times three halves. Seven times three is twenty-one. Eight times two is sixteen. Sixteen will go into twenty-one one time evenly with five left over or remainder. So the five goes in the numerator and the original dynam d denominator sixteen remains as the current denominator so 1 and 5 sixteenths is the answer to that one. Now the last basic principle that we cover in the book on multiplication of common fractions is that when you're converting a mixed number into a fraction all you have to do is multiply the denominator by the whole number portion of the mixed number and then adding that result to the to the numerator. For example, two and one fifth. To make this a fraction, you multiply the two times five. Two times five is ten. Add that result to the numerator, so plus one, and then you add the denominator at the bottom or 11 fifths okay so let's do some review problems using these basic principles we've just, just gone over let's start with this first one one half times one fourth one times one is equal to one two times four is equal to eight so the answer to A 
is one eighth. Let's do another one. Number B is one third times two thirds. So two times one is two. Three times three is nine. So two ninths. The next one, number is a little bit bigger. Three fifths times five sixteenths. Five times three is fifteen. Five times sixteen is eighty. So can we reduce that down? Let's say by five. So fifteen divided by five is three. Eighty divided by five is sixteen. So fifteen eightieths is the same as three sixteenths. Another fairly large number. We have five sixths times twelve fifths. So twelve times five is sixty. And five times six is thirty. You know, so you have a larger numerator than you do a denominator. So how many times will thirty go into sixty? Thirty will go into sixty two times evenly. And the last one we're going to do seventeen seventeen thirty seconds times sixty halves. So sixty times seventeen, you can get your calculator out for this one. So sixty times seventeen is one thousand twenty. And two times thirty two is sixty four. So how many times will sixty four go into one thousand and twenty? We'll start with it'll go in fifteen times evenly with a remainder of sixty sixty fourths. Can we reduce that down? Well, anything that's an even number you know you can immediately divide it by two. So you have fifteen and if you divided that by two it would be thirty thirty seconds. Looks like we can still divide both of those by two because both of them are are even numbers. So fifteen and thirty thirty seconds. Let's try it by two again. Fifteen and then thirty divided by two is fifteen. Thirty two divided by two is sixteen. And now you've got an odd number and an even number. There's really no way we can reduce that any lower, so the answer to E is fifteen and fifteen sixteenths. I hope that helps, and we'll see you next time.